You're joking, aren't you? It's the Teesside Chef. Here you get a look at this ultimate bean burger before I neck the lot of it. Now, when I tell my mates I've got the ultimate bean burger recipe, they say to me, bean burgers, what's the point? Just eat a normal burger, you nutcase, but these are tasty as, and they might just help save the planet. Plus, if you're having a farting competition later on, these are going to give you a great chance of winning, like. So I've got two standard tins of black beans here, and I've drained them and washed them. And to stop my bean burgers being all mushy, I'm going to get these in the oven and dry them out for about 15 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. So get them on a tray and spread them out. And you can use any beans for this, really, but don't use jelly beans or Sean bean or anything like that, or they won't come out right, see? And while they dry out in the oven, I'm going to crack on with the other ingredients. So I've grated a medium carrot into a bowl there, and now I'm going to go in with a finely chopped medium onion. And once that's in there, I'm going to add two cloves of minced garlic to that. And speaking of Sean Bean, I hope these flavours marry together as well as he does. Five times he's been married. What a guy. And we're always looking to add texture to our bean burgers, so I'm going to go in with 100 grams of coarsely chopped oats here. I bet Sean Bean gets his oats all the time, the handsome devil. And I'm really building up the flavours now with a good half a teaspoon of salt, a good pinch of pepper, a teaspoon of onion powder, and one and a half teaspoons of paprika, along with a teaspoon of cumin and a tablespoon of soy sauce. Now, you can use barbecue sauce instead of soy sauce if you don't do soy here. And then you want to give this a good mix up with your hands or with a spoon. And now I'm going to have to wash my hands again because I've forgotten the oregano. So I've got a teaspoon of oregano in there. And now I'm going to have to mix it all up again with my hands and get it a right mess again. But it's all good, you know. And now that's all boxed off, we can get our beans in here and we've let them cool down and you can see that they've dried out a little bit in the oven there. So I just sort of gather them together and hoi them in your bowl with your other ingredients. And we're almost done now, but we need to bind this together. So I'm going to go in with two beaten eggs and then warm your hands up because we're going to mash this all together. But I don't like to mash it too much here as I like a bit of texture and bite to my bean burgers and I just love getting my hands dirty. And while I do this, I'd be absolutely over the moon if you'd like and subscribe, because that would really help me out here. And if you'd like to have a bit of crack, leave a comment and say hello. And if you do all that, I'll do you a favour as well. Like, I don't know, come round and clear your gutters or wash out your wheelie bin for you. And now I've mashed that up, I'm going to put it in the fridge for half an hour to firm up a bit before I cook it off. And that'll just help you when you're forming your burgers. And we've got about 600 grams of our burger mix here, and I reckon about 100 grams per burger is ideal. But you can make these any size and shape to fit your burger buns if you like. And hey, I've got a brioche burger bun recipe in the description below that goes absolutely smashing with these, so check that out. Another quick tip here, wet your hands before you form these burgers. It'll make it that little bit easier for you. But in fairness, you are probably going to get into a right mess anyway, like. So just keep pressing it nice and firmly and shaping it. And when you've got that done, you're going to need somewhere to put this because these burgers stick like shit to a shovel. So bring a plate in with a piece of baking paper on it and you can just plonk your burger on there. And now we can form the rest of these. And these freeze really well. So if you're not ready to eat them yet, stick them in your freezer. But make sure you've got a piece of baking paper in between them because they will stick together. Or cover them and put them in the old fridge there until you're ready to cook them off. Make sure they're covered though. And these are done now. Get easy, that one, eh? And you won't be disappointed in these, you know. Tastier than Richard Sharp, these are. So let's cook them off. So you can either brush them with oil like this and bake them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at 180 fan. To be honest, you don't even have to brush them with oil, though. These work either way. Or you can fry them off in a preheated pan with plenty of oil. Give them about three minutes per side on a medium heat. And I like to fry them off because it gives a nice little crust to the burger and it makes them a bit more juicy. Plus, I've already let myself go, so it doesn't matter if I get a little bit more podgy. So I think we're just about ready to flip these now. So let's flip them and have a look at the other side there. And as you can see, it's a nice golden colour. Oh, it looks really tasty, that. Let's flip the other one. Yeah, they're coming along nice. Another three or four minutes and you are done. So now let's plate it up quite clumsily. I've already melted some cheddar cheese on top there, just because, you know, it's an excuse to eat cheddar cheese. And I'm putting some winner's garlic sauce on there, link in the description for that. And a good squeeze of sriracha for a bit of heat. And that's it. Hey, it's a bit rough around the edges, but it's wholesome and ethically sound, just like Ned Stark. So you enjoy that, and enjoy all the fun you're going to have afterwards trying to fart the theme tune to Game of Thrones. Thanks for watching, everybody. And you take care of yourselves, eh? All right. See you soon. ta -ra.